everybody. This is your friendly neighborhood, Passive Lion, with the first tutorial on this YouTube channel, which is for uh, a video that accompanies the RMVXA Takentai fully functioning English version installation instructions. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, I love video tutorials. Um, I sometimes think they help better than just a written guide, and so that is why I want to also provide this medium for a lot of you guys. Uh, plus, I've never made a video tutorial before in my life, and I think it would be awesome to try one. Um, so, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, hello again to any of those of you that may have seen me at the Heroes Convention. Uh, that's where I really had my first uh, video demonstration. Uh, but that is not on this YouTube channel. It was only for those who were at the Heroes Convention. Uh, if you did not go, I am very sorry. It was amazing. Now then, um, moving on to the tutorial. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up where you have your Talk and Tie for Ace project saved. Uh, in this case, I've got this cool little folder right here. And I've already got it open, actually, right here. And so this is the demo for uh, Talk and Tie Ace. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the script editor. And these are the scripts that I want. Very nice. But I need to open up my own project first if I'm going to copy and paste these. So I've got that open right here. Make sure you save that in an easy to find location. Okay, so now you're going to open up your project's script editor, uh, which would, would be empty. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. So you open up your project script editor, and then you open up Talk and Tie Ace's script editor. That is not the right one. Once again, that's not the right one. Here we go. Um, now, you'll notice that we have exactly 11 lines here. Um, some of them are empty, and some are filled with the Talk and Tie A script that we need. We're going to want to duplicate that exact same style, so that way it'll be the easiest for us to transfer over the files. So I've already done that here, where I've renamed these line 1, kept the insert here, line 3, line 4, line 5, all the way through 11. And I've left the blank spaces where needed. Uh, and then I went ahead and copied everything over from the Talk and Tie files from VXAce underscore SP1, and I copied all of that over to my project or your project uh, under line one. And you'll find that that's the case with everything here. It's all just like it is in the Talk and Tie, except there is just a little bit more English, which helps a lot of us English speakers out. Do you have to keep these blank spaces? No. Um, I do not believe it is essential to do so, but it is great if you do, just because it makes it really easy to copy and paste it over, so that way you don't lose your place and put something in the wrong order. I've never tried putting anything in the wrong order, I've got no idea what that'll do to the script if it's in the wrong order. Uh, anyway, moving on. So now that this is in here, uh, you might want to go ahead and try uh, doing a quick battle. But I would advise you not to, simply because you will run into a very common error. And that is because Takentai is looking for a specific set of um, graphics that you do not have. Um, and you definitely need them to run the game uh, with Ace, with Takentai for Ace. So, if you look under your resource manager in the Takentai for Ace file, you'll see all these little red dots in the resource manager. These are specially designed graphics for use with Talk and Tie for Ace that Inu has created. Uh, and these are required to run Talk and Tie for Ace, especially things like the shadow and the arrow and bow. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find where the red dots start, and they start around here, Battlebacks 1, and you're going to want to export that out into a very easy to find location. What I went ahead and did was um, I created this folder that I just called tank um, with everything that I need to export out already. So for example, well, that's you definitely don't need that. Battlebacks 1, all four are right here. And so are Battlebacks 2, and the characters, and such. Um, so you've got all this stuff here, uh, export out to a very easy to find location, and you're going to want to now import those into your project's resource manager under the correct location. So for example, we want to import uh, 
under Battle Backs 1, the, uh, the same ones that we find in Talk and Tie for Ace. And so I'm going to go find my folder. There it is, Battle Back 1. So easy to find. Open, and don't need to change anything here. And there it is. Voila. Now we need to do this for every single one that you find under this resource manager. And that includes Battle Backs 1, Battle Backs 2, characters, pictures, and system, and movies. So you get all of those loaded in. And you should be good to go. Um, you're going to start engaging in a battle. Everything's going to work out just fine. But then, the minute you run into an enemy that says that say produces sleep pollen and causes some kind of paralysis or makes all of your party members fall asleep, or potentially kills one of your party members, um, what's that going to do to your game? It's going to it's going to crash. Uh, the reason for that is is um, Takentai is attempting to uh, pull from images that don't exist if you're using custom battle, uh, custom characters in your game. Uh, if you're not using custom characters in your game and you're using the ones provided to you here, uh, then you should be just fine. However, if you decide to make your own character uh, in the game, then you're going to run into that issue because Takentai is looking for uh, this. Oh, I'm sorry looking for this specific uh, character file that does not match up with your character file. And so, what you're going to have to do now is go into the Talk and Tie script under your project, and this one's going to be under line 3, and it's going to be on this specific line of code, of scripting, uh, 117. And you're going to see that mine looks a little bit different from what you guys will find. What you guys will find is going to look like this. right here. So you guys will see how it's pulling from the underscore one and then the rest are set to zero except for these down here. Uh, so it's looking for whatever your custom character's name is, underscore one, to pull that dead image file. Um, but let's say you don't want to make your own uh, custom dead picture uh, and all you want to do is just have the characters have a, a very common preset dead looking pose. Uh, you can make that very easily by going and uh, deleting the underscore 1 and then adding a 3 in this location right here. And so your end script on that line is going to look like this, right here. Let me go ahead and zoom that in for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Uh -huh, right there. So this is what you guys are looking for. 117 and you want to make sure it looks like this. You get rid of that underscore one and you put a three there. That's going to use the, uh, I believe, the up, the up animation, the up picture. Here, let me see if I can show you. <clears throat> Ooh, losing my voice here. All right, back to full screen. Close out of this. All right, here's what I'm talking about, guys. This image right here. Uh, we have characters facing up, so it'll look like they're literally flat on their faces when they die. Uh, and you'll see that that allows you to run battles smoothly with no issues, except for, as you guessed it, uh, when you use skills, or when any of the creatures um, may use skills. Um, your game will crash. Now you run into this issue because of uh, this little thing right here, if you go uh, into your Talk and Tie for Ace, if you go into its uh, folder again, and this time click on the Data folder, you're going to see this right here, animations.rvdata2, uh, amidst all these other RV datas. Uh, your project has one of these, but not one that's compatible with Talk and Tie for Ace. So we've got to copy this one and bring it over to our own project. So find your project's folder and go into its data folder and paste it. So you're going to want to copy and replace and there it is. Now you have the animations.rvdata2 which will be compatible for Talk and Tie for Ace. So now when you go back into your game everything should run fine. The only issue is is that when you look into your 
database and you go under say skills and let's say you want to change the animation from one of these skills to something else it's all going to be in Japanese um, there is no way around that that I can see uh, except for one one thing you guys could do um, and you're probably gonna hate me for this for showing you guys this last uh, if you go and uh, check out my forum post I provide a link for this other guy I found on another forum site uh, his name is crazy and he has what he calls a full English translation of the Takantai side view battle system I was taking a look at it and it's not necessarily a full English translation as you might think uh, everything works fine um, everything appears to be in English uh, and works great and when you go into the database uh, the skills all the animations are in English like you like them to be uh, but the only issue that I see with it and it's not really that big of a deal I guess is um, this the script editor is all in Japanese not just the talking Thai stuff which he has here in Japanese I'm talking about everything is in Japanese uh, it looks like you're running out of the Japanese version of Takan Tai um, for Ace, uh, the Japanese version of Ace, when you load up the script editor, which I find very interesting how it's still able to run uh, just fine and how he how he accomplished this. But nonetheless, it works, uh, and there's a demo he's got out for it. And so, um, if you guys think it's going to be a lot easier to use that, by all means, go for it. Uh, the only reason why I provided my version of getting Talk and Tie to work is mainly because uh, if you run into uh, an issue where the game crashes or it's attempting to notify you of something, uh, I'm not quite sure if you'll be able to tell what is wrong with it when a lot of the game's core scripting's in Japanese, which is interesting. But it's up to you whether you guys want to go through that or not. Um, I don't think it's too terribly difficult to use my method, uh, but I know a lot of people love demos, I love demos, uh, and that's the main reason why we're using Talk and Ties, because it's a, it's a nice looking system and it's easy to use, easy plug and play. Um, so yeah. So I believe that is everything. Let me go ahead and double check my, uh, my guide to make sure I'm not missing any essential part to show you guys. And I'll provide a link to this guide in the description box for any of you who are viewing this on YouTube only and have not checked out the guide. Uh, da -da -da -do. That looks like... That looks like everything. Yep. Alright. So, um, go ahead and leave a comment if you like this tutorial, if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, leave a comment. Uh, if you hate this tutorial, leave a comment. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I prefer thumbs up, but I really prefer you give me your thumbs anyway. Uh, no matter what it is. And, uh, I plan on making plenty more tutorials in the future. Um, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. That would be a, a big help. Um, I know I'm trying to get Passive Line going as a company, and, uh, that would be awesome if you guys could help me out that way. Uh, by subscribing and by checking out the Facebook page. Um, I've got that open as well. Uh, no, my name is not Dennis Collins, but he is one of the characters from one of my games that I'm making, and I am thus using him to represent Passive Lion. Uh, and so here's the Facebook page. You can send me a friend request. Uh, you can also check out the fan pages for some of the games that I'm making. Uh, but pretty much everything's here. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, etc. Oh boy, I'll get better at this, I promise, I'll get better. Uh, that seems to be everything, I don't think I'm missing anything. Alright, well then, I will, I will check back in with you guys later. This has been your friendly neighborhood Passive Lion, signing out.